Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Chelsea, and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I just want to sit down and chat with you guys about what the heck is going on with the world right now. And I'm hoping to give you a little bit of support based off of where my mind has been, especially those of you who are going through IVF right now or fertility treatments and your treatments have been canceled. I'm so sorry, I have been there, I know what that feels like, and so I wanna offer you just a little bit of support. Okay, so how am I doing? I am doing fairly well. I was not doing so hot a week ago. I was very anxious, I was very unsettled and nervous about what was going on. And if you watch my vlogs, which I vlog occasionally here on the channel, I vlogged twice this week, and on one of those days, we had an earthquake here in Utah. And that just added a whole nother level of anxiety to what I was already feeling because I do not like earthquakes. And you can go ahead and watch those vlogs. I'll link them down below. Anyway, so I am with you. For those of you who are feeling very anxious about the future and about what's going on, I know how that feels. I am dealing with the same kind of anxiety. But I do try to remind myself every day that anxiety lives in the future and Peace lives in the present. So one thing I have found is super helpful is maintaining my routines, especially my morning routine. So I still get up at the same time, even though I'm working from home. I do work from home occasionally anyway, but um, I try now that I'm home every single day and my husband is also home. He works from home, home full time. Um, but so now that I am home full time, I try to stay with my morning routine, wake up at the same time and do my meditation, exercise, um, do a scripture study and write and I feel like that really really helps and when I skip out on that routine I notice a difference in my day. So I just encourage you guys to also find some type of routine or sense of normalcy amongst what's happening and I feel like routines provide that sense of normalcy. I will link a couple of resources in the description below that have been very helpful for me in developing my own personal morning routine. And if you guys wanna see a morning routine video or a nighttime routine video on my channel, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and I will be sure to make that for you guys. So like I said, I am doing fairly well. I definitely have moments where I'm like, oh my gosh, what is happening in this world? And I feel anxious, but um, for the most part, my emotions have very much evened out over the last few days and I'm feeling a lot more hopeful and optimistic and just more at peace with where the world is at even though it just feels chaotic. So one thing I stopped doing was spending too much time on social media to be honest and so I am I know I'm in control of what information I bring into my mind and so I have scaled back on the amount of content especially news that I am bringing into my mind. Okay, so for those of you who are part of the infertility community and maybe you're going through a fertility treatment right now and maybe it got canceled, I am so sorry. I know exactly how that feels. For those of you who've been watching for a while, you may remember when our FET cycle was canceled because of an ovarian cyst. Um, it was very unexpected. I didn't expect our cycle to be canceled and it was very frustrating. I felt very lonely and discouraged and I really was desperate for, to connect with people that knew what that felt like and knew what I was going through. So I just wanted to reach out to you guys and let you know that I'm here for you. Any of you that have had a cycle canceled or you know like you have this added um, level of anxiety because of where you're at in your fertility journey, I just wanted to extend support from me you guys can dm me on instagram and we can chat through there more if you need someone to talk to i really highly encourage you to connect with somebody who knows what you're going through right now because that for me was huge when i was really in the thick of our infertility struggle and based off my experience with a canceled cycle i just i have a few a couple tips that i want to suggest to you in order to help maybe this will help I don't know, but it helped me. My number one tip that I always say or piece of advice, what have you, is take it one day at a time. Um, you, you are not in control of so much here and there's so much anxiety and there's so much stress when you think too far into the future. So just take it 
one day at a time. Recognize what you can do today that's in your control and recognize what's not in your control and be okay with that. Another tip is take care of yourself. I always tell people to baby themselves during IVF because, or during, you know, an infertility struggle because there's so much shame that comes with infertility and it's really easy to be mad at your body or just frustrated with how you can't seem to get pregnant, but everyone else can, you know, it's like easy to get bogged down with that. So take time to value and take care of your body mentally and physically. So maybe you take some time to do some yoga and meditate, or maybe you paint your nails or give yourself a pedicure, just do something to show yourself a little bit of self-love. And the other tip I wanted to give, I've kind of already mentioned, but try to connect with someone who totally understands what you are going through. Somebody who knows what it's like to go through fertility treatments and then have them be canceled on you. It's so frustrating. And I'm sure there's tons of people right now who are getting their cycles canceled because of what's going on. So reach out, find a Facebook group, search some hashtags on Instagram and try to connect with people that know how you feel. We're so lucky that we have the resources we have right now to be able to connect virtually with people when we're stuck inside our homes. I did make a video on how I felt when our FET cycle was canceled and I watched that last night and it brought up all of those emotions of how lonely I felt and how I just desperately wanted to connect with somebody that knew how I was feeling. Like not just one person, I wanted to like connect with anyone I could who knew how I felt. So I will link that video down below. You guys can go ahead and watch that. It might help, maybe, I don't know. I'm just trying to give as much as I can to help you guys because I'm really, really thinking about those of you who are dealing with canceled cycles right now because I just, it's so frustrating. It's such a bummer. But I don't want this video to be a total downer. <laughs> I want you guys to know that I am super optimistic about our future. I'm super hopeful and I feel like the future is bright. We have so much going for us and I'm trying to live every day in the moment, moment by moment, not, not even minute by minute, moment by moment. Take each moment as it comes and be present and just enjoy what time I have here at home with my daughter and my husband and this new slow paced way of life we've got going on because heaven knows we don't normally live like this. We are always go, 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 go. And it doesn't hurt to just slow down and take it easy. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Once again, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or go ahead and just comment down below. We can connect through there. I hope you guys have a great day and an even brighter tomorrow. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.